In this video, we're going to focus on how we can insert text from a paragraph into JS PDF. So this is part two of the tutorial. So let's scroll down here. And now we have this here. Very, very basics here. So if you're familiar with Canvas, you already recognize this part here. However, what we want to do now is we want to grab a, we want to grab a paragraph and we want to insert the paragraph text in here without here doing anything. And the reason why is maybe you want to create something dynamic, which is a very common thing that we want to do with a PDF. So what we want to do is the following. For example, this here, we have here this wonderful website, uh, www.chartjs3.com. And I'm going to grab this, or basically I want to put in this text in here. So this will be eventually dynamic. So what we can do here is what we can say here, because we only have one paragraph element, we can do it very easy with query selector. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm going to say a P text, all right? And then I'm going to say here, and this is of course a constant, make sure we assign this as a constant, to say here, document dot query selector. And then here we can now just say P. And the reason why we are allowed to do this is basically for one reason, because we only have one paragraph here. If we would have more, this might, might be in conflict. In that case, I would say give it a class or give it a unique ID that we can use. So we have this now, but if I would copy this and just put it in here, we say, all right, then this should be it. If I save this now and refresh, you get an error. And you don't see it right now here, but you can see here, error, the HTML paragraph element is not recognized. And the reason why is it is, it must be a string or array. So what is then our item here? Well, right now, it is not a string or array because if we do a console log, Let's look at it, p text, save that, refresh, you can see here, we get the paragraph element as well, the p element. So we don't want this tag here, because this, of course, JavaScript is in conflict, or at least JS PDF cannot see that. So what I want to do here is specifically dot inner text. We don't need to have inner HTML, and I would say always try to avoid that one if possible. Just go for inner text, that's more safer. Save this, refresh, and now you can see here, we only extract here, specifically the text. All right, let's grab this text now, and just insert this individual text, or not even that only, but this, with the dot inner HTML. Save this, refresh. Now you can see here, loads, and this loads here, downloads, click on that, and once we click on it, you can see here, www.chartjs3.com shows nicely on here. And what's interesting is because we have uh, grab a uh, link as well. So basically it recognizes the code here. If I click on this, it probably will open up here a new item. So if I click on that, it will move here and most likely it takes some time. As you can see here, it just takes some time, but that's it. So with this, basically we have created our item here. 